Uh, so, with Evan Warner from SRAM. Uh, Evan, uh, quite interesting. Uh, Brosnan's on air. He is, yeah. Uh, Bruni's on coil this weekend here in Lenzerheide. I mean, is it simply a matter of taste or is there more to it than that? It's taste, it's track, um, it's what they're comfortable on and what we they've ridden more and tested on. And uh, it definitely conditions this weekend of a lot of and to go to the air shop. Um, and he's enjoying it, he yeah. really finds the smoke, the smoke. In terms of decisions, um, so do you look after the Lapier guys and, and specialize? Is it, is, it, is it a similar setup or the difference? At this point in the season, like most of these guys are pretty set up. Um, and yeah, we've worked quite heavily with Troy this season um, and done a lot of testing with him. The Lapierre guys are pretty self-sufficient at this point and we just aid in any kind of a service or... Um, okay. yeah. So all the Lapierre decisions are done by those guys, yeah? In conjunction, they'll let us know what they're, right. they're thinking and okay. they want to go, but yeah, absolutely. There's like something they're... a bit closer with Brosnan, right? Yeah, we have a little bit closer connection with, yeah, with okay. Brosnan and some of the other things. Yeah, it's quite interesting. So Brosnan's gone air, he's gone air vivid along with along with Gwyn this weekend, right? Absolutely, and yeah. Gwyn's been on the Fox Air Shock for all year, but um, yeah. yeah, Brosnan definitely made the, made the switch to vivid air this, this weekend and he's, yeah. he said it so, works well. So when were those decisions and who, actually, like who made the decisions, where were they made and stuff like that? That, to go to to go to air to go to air. Well, yeah. we do a couple test sessions and everything with Troy, and we all year have been kind of going back and forth to Vivid Air, and then this this track just seemed to fit right into what he wanted to try. Did a yeah. few runs on coil, a few runs on air, yeah. and can you give us some kind of insight into why they made those decisions? Or kind of uh, he was just really loving the small bump compliance on the Vivid Air. Felt like it was a bit more balanced on this track, and he could he has the adjustment. He can adjust the air pressure, volume spacers, and everything in the Vivid Air, and that right, okay. that's helped him. Yeah. So, so, so like Brosnan, then how, how kind of often would he come and visit the the SRAM tent, and you know, kind of what things give us kind of idea of what what things are talked talked about and stuff. Like yeah. That. No, absolutely. Especially after the track walk, we usually have a bit of a discussion and everything about what he's feeling, what he's thinking, like how he's thinking the track's gonna play out and whether we'll play a small impact in that and everything. But yeah, usually initially early on in the week we'll uh, chat with him after track walk and then sort of halfway through practice yeah. day. So quickly just quite talk about um, Boxer World Cup. Yep. I mean, once the decisions are made on settings beginning of the year, are they pretty much standard or? No, we actually do play with that quite a All bit. Right. Uh, yeah, air pressure especially, we'll, we'll, we'll play with um, bumping it up or down depending on the track. We have air volume reducers in that as yeah, well. Because Brosnan's on like three volume spaces and yeah. about eight PSI, right? Correct, yeah, 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 and absolutely. And then, you know, depending on the track, Mount St. Anne or Fort William, yeah. um, especially these two new tracks, Lords and Lenzerhide this year, it's been a bit more of a sort of playing around. We can almost go back to last year sometimes and see sort of yeah. base settings we were at and have a starting point. It's funny because like you talk to a lot of teams and they can ask them about their settings, they go, oh, medium. <laughs> So like really? Yeah. So yeah. like, but is that how it is, or can I? I feel like a lot of guys nowadays, the the level's gotten higher, the fitness has gotten so much better, and they they they're more in, involved in their settings and they know their settings, write them down. Uh, we have a lot of athletes who will drop their fork off for a service, and they'll know. We'll we'll yeah. record them as well, but like then we'll compare them and then see right. how it's changed over the weekend. And what about sort of? You know, kind of how much is the mechanic involved in, in all the decisions and stuff? Thinking of the actual team mechanic. Definitely depends on certain riders, certain teams, and uh, right. in the relationship we have. But yeah, Aaron, uh, Troy's mechanic, is yeah. very heavily involved. Was attending all the test sessions. Will be there when we're discussing it, just so he's on board as well. And there's okay. not this lost like communication. So it's good to keep everybody involved for sure, and uh, and just try to get everybody on the same sessions on the same page. Sure. Spawn, Evan, thanks so much for your time. Thanks. Nice one. Appreciate it.